In today's video, we're going to be talking about the spot price of silver falling down below the $24 range and what I'm hoping to see over the course of the week. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about silver. More specifically, I wanted to talk about the spot price of silver falling down to the $23 dollar an ounce range that's right spot price is falling and it's not just silver it's gold too we're gonna get into it but really quick just in case you're new make sure to subscribe for daily videos also subscribe to my second channel which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content brand new video over there go check it out the link will be in the description and if you want to get some dydss merchandise to help support the channel i would really 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 appreciate it any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below thank you in advance it's more than appreciated but today is monday august 9th 2021 i almost just said july it's august 9th 2021 and the current spot price of silver as i'm recording the video is 23 dollars and 41 cents that's right, a red day for silver, big red day, down almost 4%, down almost a dollar. Spot price of gold, as I'm recording the video, is 1729.30, down almost 2%, down over 33 bucks, and the gold to silver ratio is currently in the 72 to 73 range. Of course, that's as I'm filming the video, not as I'm editing, posting, or as you're watching. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. But today, something a little bit different. I just finished up a market open stream that I did in the VIP club. It was about an hour, maybe an hour and a half long. I can't commit to doing them every single Monday, but I'm going to try to do them most Mondays. And I also live stream every single Wednesday evening. So if anybody wants to become a VIP club member, the link will be in the description. I also do monthly giveaways, daily silver and gold deal alerts, and a whole lot more. Link in the description. Now, I didn't expect silver or gold to drop the way that they did this morning. It's not what I expected. I had an unbelievably chaotic weekend, so I wasn't even thinking about spot price at the moment. All I knew was that last week, before the market closed, spot price was on the decline. I remember in recent weeks, we saw silver creep into the $24 range. And I remember saying, I cannot believe it went under 25 bucks. Blew my mind. I couldn't believe it. And to be honest, I didn't think it, I could see it going any lower. Here we are in the $23 range, under 24 bucks. Spot price is falling. Now, anybody familiar with my channel, knows that I love the red days. I love being able to get more money for my currency. The lower, the better. I don't think it'll go dramatically lower than where it is right now, but I hope it does. So what I'm going to do in this video is include a clip from the VIP Club live stream that I just finished up. It's a little bit lengthy, but we actually watched the spot price drop lower and lower and lower throughout the course of the stream. We also did a market open stream, stock market. I talked a little bit about what some of my expectations are when it comes to the spot price of silver over the next couple of days, or at the very least, what I hope to see over the next couple of days. And when that clip is over, I'm gonna hop back on and add even more of my thoughts. Here's the clip, here we go. Gold and silver took a dive. Uh, they did late last week, right before the market closed. Let me pull them back up. Whoa, 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 whoa. It took more of a dive. Oh my God. I had Kitco pulled up. I just hadn't, I hadn't looked yet. Let me screenshot that really fast. Oh my God. Silver, 2384? I'm going to be honest with you. Seeing it creep into the $24 range uh, a week or two ago was crazy enough. Look at this right here. Man, that, I need to screenshot that. 
because that's what today's video was going to be about anyway. I just didn't think it would go lower. I was going to talk about what happened last week when I didn't get a chance to talk about it because I pre-recorded a bunch of videos. Wow. And I had a feeling, I, I was kind of contemplating, I was like, eh, maybe I shouldn't make that video. If I talked about what happened on Thursday and Friday of last week, and I'm posting the video on Monday, the market could be completely different. Spot price could be right back up or higher than it was. And I was like, oh man, I could film a video and it already aged like milk. Turns out spot price fell even lower. Which is good news for me, because that means I can get more. And it's also good news for the video, because that means it isn't like automatically outdated. But wow. Currently about six and a half minutes away from the opening. Oh my god. Gold to silver ratio is between 72 and 73. Wow. And gold is under 1750. Jeez, look at that right there. Wow. Market opens in six minutes. I really wonder if the stock market is going to get hammered as well. I wonder if precious metals and the stock market are going to be moving in opposite directions or the same direction. Because like I always say, if you pay attention to all of the markets, if you pay attention to all the graphs and charts and numbers, when one thing begins to move, it could be a little bit of an indicator of what's going to be moving with it or what's going to be moving next or in the near future. And with silver and gold falling late last week and continuing to fall this week, while the stock market has yet to open up, could be a little bit of a warning sign. I mean, look at that right there. Silver's down two and a quarter percent. 2.26. Gold is down 1.16. Wow. Anything above a 2% drop gets people freaked out. Same goes for stocks as well, by the way. If the stock market, the general state of the stock market falls more than 2% in a day, people have heart attacks. And God forbid it drops 5% in a day. That leads to a sell-off. God forbid we see more than 10% in a day. Oh my God. It's like the world is coming to an end. Not for me. I love it when silver falls. I love it when the stock market falls. Because I'm not using either to get rich. I'm using silver as what I consider to be a smarter way of saving money. And I use the stock market for just a little bit of cash flow. So if I can get some cash flow for a slightly smaller dollar amount, that makes me happy. And if I can save my money for a slightly lower dollar amount, makes me even happier. I love the red days. That means I can save more for cheaper and I can invest more for cheaper. Yeah, for when silver dips below 20, hoping gold dips to 1400. Yeah, you know, some people would say that's incredibly pessimistic. I would say it's incredibly optimistic. I don't know if I can see it going that far down. It would be nice. I don't know if I see that happening though. It'd be great, don't get me wrong. Silver under 20 bucks and gold under 14. Oh man, you have any idea what I would do if that were to take place? I would load up on, well, when it comes to silver, I would load up on probably a bunch of 90% to be honest. I probably wouldn't spice things up very much. I would probably just go after rolls upon rolls upon rolls of silver quarters, if I'm going to be real. And then as for gold, I would probably try to pick up as many quarter and tenth ounces as I can, preferably quarter ounces. But then again, if the spot price were to go that low, maybe I would uh, spring up for my first uh, half ounce gold coin potentially.
But for the most part, I think I'd go after a ton of 90% and probably quarter answer, quarter ounces, maybe a half ouncer. And if the premium's correct, 10th ouncer. Okay, that's the 60 second warning. So we got less than a minute to go. I currently have one thing pulled up on my computer that I'm looking at. I have something else pulled up on my iPad, which I can absolutely display. I actually have Weeble pulled up on my iPad. So you can see the general state of the market. And uh, in very small print, I don't know why it's so small on a tablet, but you can see the Dow Jones, the S&P, and the NASDAQ right here. See right there? Boom. And boom. Let's see what else silver is doing. Is it up or down from where it was? What was it before? 23 what? I screenshot it. Oh, oh, silver's down even more. I was thinking it was 2364. It's 2377 right now. No, it was 2384. It's down even further. Good Lord. Keep going. Keep falling. Predictions on silver. And what's your biggest mover in the markets by Friday? Um, as for silver... I don't really want to call it a prediction. I'd rather call it a hope. <laughs> uh, I hope it continues. Slowly, slowly, slowly dropping. You know, I, I don't want to see... Like, I don't want to see Silver do anything overly dramatic in a short window of time. It catches too much attention when that happens. If we can see Silver slowly creep its way down through the week... I mean, where is it sitting at right now? 2380-something? Nope, down to 23.75. Um, if we can see it creep down to like, let's just say 23.50 tomorrow, 23.25 uh, Wednesday, 23 bucks on Thursday, and into the 20, uh, $22 range on Friday, that'd be nice. And it can even move slower than that. It can go down to, you know, 23 and a quarter by the end of the week. Uh, you know, I would rather things fall and rise slowly because I don't like when a whole lot of attention is being drawn to what I'm currently in acquisition mode on. See, if we were to, you know, blink our eyes and all of a sudden silver falls from 23.75 to 21 bucks, let's just say. Let's just say it falls multiple dollars in a day. That's going to draw too much attention to silver. Number one, it's going to drive a lot of fear. A lot of people are going to be panic selling. It's also going to drive a lot of positive attention. A lot of people are going to say, oh my God, let me load the boat. And then all of a sudden you have all these people trying to, uh, all these people trying to sell off, all these people trying to buy in, all of this attention, orders get blocked, minimum orders get increased, premiums go up. Because there's too much attention, too much craziness, too much chaos going on in the silver world. That's not what I want. Of course I want spot price to go down. I just don't want it to go down fast. Too much attention is not good. Not for someone who's trying to continue to buy in. Not for somebody who is in acquisition mode. I want to get the most bang for my buck, and I want it. I want silver to be off of the radar. Let's check spot price again really quick, because that's kind of what... Oh my god, silver is 23.65. Oh my god. Let me screenshot this. I've been screenshotting silver on the way down, because I know that's... I, I want to talk about the low point. Twenty three sixty five gold. Oh my God, seventeen thirty five. This is a great week for people that are stacking. Oh my God, gold is officially down one and a half percent, one point five seven percent. It was just down one and a quarter before. Can you imagine what would happen if it 
I mean, we've seen it happen before, but can you imagine what would happen today if gold ends up dropping more than 2%? Silver's already down more than 2%. Silver's down 3%. 2.99% right now. And this is just as I'm streaming during a market open live stream. Who knows what it's going to be by the time I actually film today's video. And who knows what it's going to be by the time I edit it and by the time it's posted. Good lord. So yeah, that was about an 11 minute clip taken from a maybe hour and a half long live stream that I did in the VIP club. Once again, link in the description in case you want to become a VIP club member. I guarantee you the value exceeds the cost. You won't regret it. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about what my next silver pickups are going to be. When it comes to silver, I'm keeping it boring. I'm keeping it simple. I'm keeping it honest. I'm going after Washington Quarters. That is where I have found to be the lowest possible premium, bare minimum premium. And yes, I know the premiums on the 90% are still up there as well as they've been for the last year, year and a half. That's no secret. Premiums on silver in general are still kind of up there. I've noticed that over the last couple of weeks, premiums have been a little bit on the decline. For the last year and a half, a lot of people have been saying that whenever spot price goes down 10 cents, premiums go up 10 cents to make up for it. I haven't seen that happen one time in the last year and a half, and there have been a handful of people who have been saying it, and I don't know if they convinced themselves this, but every single time I asked them, I was like, can you please show me where? I'm checking every single website. I haven't seen that happen, and not one person in 18 months has provided me with the numbers or, or, or any pictures or any source or anything like that. Of course, premiums have gone up, but I haven't noticed the premiums going up 15 cents every time spot price goes down 15 cents, causing stack price to stay exactly the same. No, stack price has fluctuated every minute of every day for the last year and a half. Stack price, the out the door grand total per ounce cost, has been going up and down as well as spot price goes up and down. Premiums, I've been noticing, dropping down a little bit, which is great because obviously spot price is dropping as well. So if premiums can go down while spot price can go down, that means the stack price will definitely go down, which means the grand total out the door per ounce cost is on the decline, which means we can get more money for our currency. And I said it before and I'll say it again, please support the local coin shop. You can get the best deals typically at a physical in-person small business coin shop. A lot of the online dealers, they have an international customer base. They know that if you're not willing to pay, you don't matter. Next in line. Are you willing to pay? No, get out of the way. Next in line. A lot of them seem to have the mindset because some of us may say, hey, we know other coin shops that charge less and they look at us and say, okay, and we know other customers who pay more. They don't care. Support the local coin shops, support the small businesses. I can't say it enough. Not only do they need our help, now more than ever, but you could probably get a better deal at the local coin shop. So see if you could do that. Anyway, I plan on going to my local coin shop and getting some more 90% silver quarters washington quarters to be more specific because at my local coin shop i don't believe i have ever seen any standing liberty quarters but either way whether it's a standing liberty whether it's a washington quarter they're both about one sixth of a troy ounce so i'm not too worried about it it doesn't really matter too much to me what's on the face of the coin it doesn't matter too much to me the denomination of the coin, as long as I can get it for the bare minimum premium, as long as I can get it and it's actually silver, I'm happy. No complaints, no arguments, no nothing. All I want is the silver for the best possible deal. So I'll be going after Washington quarters because of all the 90% silver out there, I think it's probably safe and fair to say that the Washington quarters are probably considered to be the most common and the most boring. 
And when I say boring, I'm not insulting it by the way. Boring oftentimes is the best when it comes to investing and when it comes to stacking. Boring is typically the best way you could ever go, nine times out of 10. And when it comes to stacking silver, it's an easy way of getting the weight up. It's an easy way of getting your hands on the physical silver content for bare minimum premiums, even if the premiums are considered to be a little bit more on the high side. Now, I would also like to go for some silver dimes, but I've noticed in recent weeks that, at least online, I haven't checked my local coin shop. That's just where I get quarters from. But I'll have to compare and see if they have any mercury dimes this time around. Mercury dimes typically carry a higher premium than Roosevelt dimes, and Roosevelt dimes go pretty quick, as do mercury dimes. Washington quarters, there seems to be an endless supply of 90% Washington quarters. They're all over the place. Coming around full circle, I think probably because they're considered to be the most common and most boring. People aren't really drawn to them very much. But I am, for that reason right there. As a contrarian, I like going after what has the least amount of attention on it. Mercury dimes are always cool, though. I'm always happy to get some more mercury dimes. Roosevelt dimes, mercury dimes, Washington quarters, standing liberty quarters, half dollars. Always happy to get some 90% half dollars. I don't think I could ever really see myself converting my dollars into 40% half dollars, but I have some here that I found for free in someone's pocket. I'm joking. I found them while doing a job one time and I was told I can keep them. But coming around full, full circle, I'm just going to go after whatever I can get my hands on. And that's probably going to end up being Washington quarters. I keep it simple. Keep it boring. I try to get the same stuff as often as I can because I'm just after that low premium recognizable silver. Of course, on screen right here, I got a little bit of everything. Got the gold back, got some gold coins up at the top, the Kraken, a couple of 10-ounce bars, some fractional silver at the bottom, some other constitutional silver on screen. I have a Type 2 American Silver Eagle with the missing reed. Thank God for that missing reed, by the way. I don't know what we would do without that missing reed. And then, of course, little platinum bar. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. And if you're going to be capitalizing on the spot price of silver falling down, I can actually do a live spot price update right now. We're not live, but real time as I am filming this video. It was 2341 when I started filming. Oh, wow. Oh wow, oh wow, look at that right there. I just clicked refresh. $23.27. Title of the video, spot price is falling. Look at that, 4.5% down, over a dollar. What a way to start the week. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic and what are your thoughts on the spot price falling on both precious metals? And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm posting exclusive VIP only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites and of course you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free come join the precious metals vip club it'll be the first link in the description you're invited i'd be happy to have you and if you guys enjoyed today's video please hit that like button if you guys like me make sure to hit that subscribe button like a karen hits a bus window also subscribe to my second channel which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Bunch of brand new videos over there. I posted one about China banning cryptocurrency, one about AT&T cutting its dividend, other videos about real estate, videos about silver, videos about gold, and a bunch of others. 
go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products. T-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you, it comes out of my pocket, not yours. And of course, last but not least, the brand new DYDSS Karen Free Zone t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug. My name is not Karen. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again, what are your thoughts on spot price really on the decline? And it's not just a one day thing. I know it's Monday morning as I'm filming the video. I get it. But what are your thoughts on spot price, which has been falling technically? Silver started to fall last week. Gold was down a little bit as well. Thursday or Friday was in the red closed in the red and we opened up even more in the red silver's down heavy right now are you going to be capitalizing on the dip i know i will be come payday pretty excited about that i do have a little bit of cash on hand which i wasn't really planning on converting or spending or doing anything with i was supposed to be to keep to the side but something got screwed up with my paycheck so I'm a little tempted to dip into it while I'm waiting for my corrected paycheck to arrive. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.